Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface with another Hidden Garrison Followers video. In this series, I bring you hidden or very difficult to find Garrison Followers and show you how to get them so you can put them in yours. Today, we're going to be getting Leroy Jenkins, which takes us into another dungeon. This is Upper Black Rock Spire. And what you have to do is go through the first two bosses as usual, as normal. And after you've defeated the second boss, you'll notice Leroy's poor dead body on the ground. What you need to do after that is resurrect him. Now, anyone that has a resurrect ability can do this, but there is a certain criteria involved. There's always criteria involved. Crowman, which was in the Bloodmore Slag Mines, was relatively easy because all you had to do was escort him through. Leroy has a slightly different agenda. This guy is rather hot-headed, as you may have seen from the past, and he will simply charge into battle. Thankfully, though... After being dead for eight years and just being resurrected, he decides to take a wee bit of a break to eat some chicken. Uh, so he will actually sit down for 15 minutes while he cooks the chicken and eats the chicken. But after that, he's just charging in and there's nothing that you can do to stop him. So what that means is you can't eke your way through as you normally would this dungeon. You can't cut off lots of the trash and just try and streamline it as best you can. No, you have to defeat everything, and I mean absolutely everything, that is going to go into the path of Leroy Jenkins. Now, above him, we have this huge room, and in this, this room, it's completely chock-a-block full of trash. Every single solitary bit of it must go and that takes us through to the third boss now you've got to be careful especially on this final pack because if you knock any of them down below they will run through the open gate and come back and that in itself will pull more trash so that's what you do not want to do so just play it safe don't do anything stupid don't do anything risky and you can negotiate your way through this relatively okay now i want to give you some sort of idea of team setup that we have here there's myself dps my item level is 636 currently and then there was two hunters and they were both approximately 636 the same as myself the healer was 635 and the tank was 631 so we have a relatively powerful group in the grand scale of a heroic dungeon because you can only do this in the heroic version of Upper Black Rock Span. There's no normal version uh, that will allow you to get Leroy Jenkins. So when we defeat the third boss, which is nearly going down now, we have to go through another cacophony of trash. Now. Some people have had this confused in the past because what they've tried to do is go all the way through to Warlord Zela. Uh, you don't have to do that at all. No, 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 no. Leroy is looking for his devout shoulders and his devout shoulders can be found at the Son of the Beast. And the Son of the Beast is what we could call the optional uh, raid boss uh, or dungeon boss, I should say, in this instance. You'll notice that you've got your five bosses down that side. But instead of going through that gateway that you could see with the two ogres guarding it, if you go into there, that area in front of us, where we're just about to go right now, this is where Son of the Beast resides. You can just see him snuck away in the corner. If you defeat him, then that's it. You've cleared the route. Everything has been brushed aside for Leroy to come charging through. So we are uh, just about to start combat with Son of the Beast with, what, 2 minutes 10 seconds to go. Which is pretty darn good. So we, we've, we've done a really decent job of going through the trash, not making any mistakes. And I've got to say, we didn't go through a uh, 100 miles an hour either. We just played it safe. It was very good and strategic pulling by the tank. When a pack was just about dead, the tank would then move to the next pack and allow the DPS to simply finish them off now that threat had been absolutely cemented. Yeah, we had a chamois that um, kept forgetting to uh, hero. <laughs> so even, even without hero which only gets popped now when son of the beast is on 460 odd k health uh he burns down in plenty of time so with him defeated and 85 seconds still to go the pathway 
has been totally cleared for Leroy. Now, he will actually eat up every single second on the clock. He wants to spend his time consuming that chicken. It's been a long time for him, eight years, being dead. The guy is hungry. So you still have to wait for time to tick down before he comes charging in. And yes, he will give his Leroy Jenkins war cry. I shan't do it. I'm not going to do the guy any sort of disrespect. It's his, it's his bag, baby. Uh, but when he gets to the point where Son of the Beast was, he will pick up his devout shoulders and then you will get him as a epic level 100 follower for your garrison now divine storm is the one which everybody will get which counters minion swarms everything else after that is up for grabs in my case i got repentance which will counter deadly minions and his traits are canine companion void slayer and marsh walker so that's pretty good going and a level 100 epic follower and having leroy jenkins in your garrison is nothing short of absolutely uber cool so leroy and i are going to sit down to some well-deserved cooked chicken in the inn in my garrison and i sincerely hope that you enjoyed the vid if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you can follow me also on social media and twitch.tv for live streaming all those links are in the description down below and i shall be back with some more stuff very soon you take care everybody Bye-bye.